So to draw a square freehand, if you're just starting out, then draw a rectangle. And I'm going to deliberately make mine a bit dodgy. So you can see it's pretty poor. The, the height is different, clearly, at each end. But to correct that, what we do is we can go, OK, well, put the tip of the pen aligned with that corner and our thumb aligned with the other corner. And then don't move this thumb. Bring the pen tip to this corner and then put your finger of your other hand where your thumb is and just whoops and then just put a little dot there. OK, so now we can extend that left hand side down to there to there, join up with the new position and we've got a much better rectangle. And we can use that same technique to create a square. OK, so I put a little mark there. Measure again and do the same down here. You can almost just tip the pen because it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing. See, I've missed my mark, but I've got a pretty good freehand square there. Now, the reason this is valuable in maths is, you know, we don't want to be always be measuring exactly, but being able to do pretty decent diagrams helps us see what's going on sometimes. So, for example, if I draw in a diagonal then I've instantly created a pretty good 90, 45, 45 triangle. If I draw in the other diagonal, then I've automatically located the centre of the square. And if I needed to, I could split that up vertically and horizontally as well.